As humanity, we are on the verge of a huge technological leap. The technology we will talk about here is an invention that will bring human civilization and lifestyle to a whole new dimension. An invention that could radically change philosophy, economics, physics, chemistry, and even all biological life. The father of nanotechnology, Eric Drexler, talked about nanobots that will work at the atomic scale. We're talking about micro-robots that can split molecules into atoms and then combine these atoms in different combinations to form different molecules. It is even a technology where we can divide the atom into its building blocks and create the atom we want. It's a bit like medieval alchemical studies. But it's not fantasy we're talking about here, it's science. Robots that can self-repair, behave like living things, and work with wireless energy transfer. It can also replicate itself. Self-healing nanobots won't need repair. When integrated into the human body, it will be able to extend human life several times by rebuilding aging organs at the atomic level. Perhaps they will build new organs equal to the number of telomeres in a newborn cells. The organ that makes us who we are is our brain and our central nervous system, where our motor reflexes are registered. A change in the nervous system and brain cells can cause a memory reset. So that person will no longer be us. Therefore, our life will be limited to the life of our nervous system and brain cells. Maybe if we can increase the capacity of neurons waiting in sleep mode when we are first born, there will be more neurons to replace those that die. If you want to get more water, you should have a larger container. But whatever happens, immortality is not possible and the system will one day shut down. The prolongation of human lifespan will also eliminate the generation gap between people. For example, there is a generation gap between a 7-year-old and a 70-year-old. However, there will be no generation gap between a 407-year-old and a 470-year-old. The longer people live, the more they will flee from wars and fights. Ancient times were the age of warrior heroes. Average lifespan was 45 years. 15 years of this was spent in childhood. They had 30 years left to farm and make a living. Instead, they hoped to lead a comfortable life by fighting and plundering and gaining fame. However, if a 20-year-old had an average of 400 years ahead of him, he would not want to risk this long life with wars. When Drexler talked about it 35 years ago, people probably thought he was crazy. But today we know it's possible. In November 2021, Tufts University and the University of Vermont produced a living robot called Xenobots 3.0, about 1 mm in size, using frog cells. These robots can reproduce on their own, and for now they can repeat this for two generations. These living robots built by artificial intelligence can control the activities of human cells. In this way, aging will disappear and we will live the long life we will live vigorously. Now imagine that this technology is developed and the nanobots we mentioned above are made. A technology that can transform materials into each other will eliminate the raw material problem. We will be able to produce whatever we want from garbage, even stones, and therefore we will not need production facilities. This will cause us to rewrite the definition of economics. Economics is the distribution of limited resources in response to unlimited wants. However, if resources are unlimited, we do not need capital and money. An incredible utopia where everyone has everything. Space studies will accelerate as nanobots can build spaceships very cheaply. Maybe space travel will be like a bus ride, 
The crazy thing is that these nanobots will make the atmospheres of rocky planets ageable. In addition, these assembler nanobots can build Earth-like planets in the Goldilocks zones, habitable zone, by smashing gas planets and asteroids in different solar systems. This situation will enable us to establish a civilization that can spread to the whole universe thanks to the huge land area. Perhaps in the future we will see the United Nations transform into the United Federation of Planets, as in the movie Star Trek. On the subject, I can recommend the 2014 movie, Transcendence, starring Johnny Depp and the 2020 movie, Bloodshot, starring Vin Diesel. As Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, the founder of rocket science, said, Earth is the cradle of humanity, but we cannot live in a cradle forever. I apologize for possible minor errors in the translation. Stay with science.